Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Uh, I'm delighted as always to be joined by my good mate, Maxie Hughes. Maxie, I've just told you what I'm doing. I'm in a, a storage cupboard in the gym, sitting on a spin bike, doing this interview just now. <laughs> uh, you've got a treadmill beside you. Man, how's life? Tread, treadmill slash office, yeah, it's uh, it's good, it's busy. Hectic, we've just had a two-week-old newborn, Glad along with a three-year-old toddler, so... Uh, you know, we're you know, luckily I'm I'm now a full time athlete, so I am I'm at home. So um, you know, that, that takes a lot of pressure off. But yeah, life's good, life's on the up. Definitely. Let's talk about being a full time athlete because you've 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 done a lot now in terms of uh, in the boxing game, but you've never had that that backing to train at a certain yeah. time. Always been that nine to five guy, tired after work. I, I I used to work the nine to five as well. I know it when you go home you just want to get your your, your your dinner, your tea, and then just sit and chill and watch TV. It's tiresome. But to get yeah. out and go to the gym as well after a full day's graft, I mean, you, you've done it the hard way, it's safe to say. So how how happy yeah. are you now to finally get that back and to finally put everything into the sport that you've uh, that you've loved so much? It's really, really reward, reward, can't speak, rewarding. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just it's just nice. Um, and what, what the... What I'm trying to get into now is just to make sure I've still got a, a good routine, you know, without realizing realizing it work. Give me a good structured routine. So it's just just figuring out. It's a bit of trial and error at the minute. Um, well, yeah, I'm just just enjoying it. And obviously, with a newborn, get to spend time uh, with her as well, watching her grow as, as well as doing my job as as training and and stuff. So every it's like it's like everything's falling into place for me now and. Um, you know, got that backing, so I'm I'm not far off challenging these big boys as as we're going to talk about. We will talk about that. We definitely will because it, it's a fight that you've asked for. But I want to stay on this because see, when you lost against Sam Bowen and, and Liam Walsh, uh, I know it was like they were quite close together. But when you had them two losses, uh, your last two losses, sorry, did you ever think that this would happen for you? I mean, the backing and then the IBO world champion fighting in Leeds in front of all them people winning a world title and stuff like that. Did you ever, ever in the back of your mind? I mean, I know there's a story for you and Josh Warrington after, I can't remember which loss it was, it might have been the, the ward loss. Something like you said, I'm quitting, I'm done. I can't do it no more. But did you, did you ever yeah. think it happened to you in your wildest dreams that you would become an IBO world champion and you will have the backing to finally become a professional athlete and get the, the support you need? No, it, it, uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even let my mind sort of go there because, like you say, after this, after the Sam Bowen loss, I threw in towel for six, seven months, and I and I really did think I would done with it. When people ask me, when when's your next fight? It says there ain't gonna be one because I'm I'm finished with sport. And then you know, then I got back into it. I had I had the comeback win, and then I got straight back in. Then with Liam Walsh, and it was a close fight. And you know, the I felt the performance was better. But still, you know, on that way home with Josh Reese and Sean and Carl, I was just gutted. I thought, I'm, I'm never going to be good enough to, you know, to to win these domestic fights, these domestic matchups that I'm having, and it it were it were heartbreaking and hard for me to to try and accept that, you know. But there was there was still a little bit of something in in there in my mind what says, no, don't don't give it in because you are. You can win something, you know, an English title, possibly a British title. Uh, the British was always at the forefront of my ambition uh, by this point to just, just to win the British, just to win that. Then I, I'll feel like I've really achieved something. And if I packed in then, then I'd, I would be happy. So, you know, to to win the British in the way that I did it and then, you know, for them to things to snowball then, um, you know, to fighting on the matchroom card, to have a contract with matchroom, uh, and that, and to be in this position now where I'm, I'm a full time athlete, it's a, uh, it's a turnaround. And you know, now, now I think this is where this is where I always belong. This is where I should have been years ago. It's just maybe some upstairs, not uh, like um, physical ability wise, mentally ability. What what stopped me getting there in the past? But now I'm here. I, Feel like I've always belonged there, and uh, just I'm just really going to make the most of it. Definitely. Well, making the most of it, man. You you, you spoke about Devin Haney, the fight that we were talking about. Uh, 
you, yeah. you spoken about that fight and being that like, you're both sort of like, well, he, he, I don't think he is contractually signed to match him, but he works with Eddie Hearn a lot, Devin Haney. Um, the Jojo yeah. Diaz fight hasn't been signed yet. There seem to be difficulties there, but you, as soon as you found that there was, there was no contract signed, you threw your name in the hat straight away. You would love that fight with Devin, wouldn't you? Absolutely, yeah. Like when we're at now, it were, when I fought in Dubai last year, just nearly a year ago, won in the WBC International, which is a belt he'd, he'd had not long before me and then been elevated to full champions. So I said it then, I said that that's the fight that I re I'd really like is a Devin Haney fight. And, you know, people didn't take it serious. And, you know, we're here a year later and it's very much a serious, serious fight. You know, it's not joking anymore because um, he's after my last win, obviously I called him out again after the fight and I got a response from his dad. Um, who they'd obviously watched the fight, so I'm on their radar. Um, his dad had said, you know, fair play to Maxi. He's called us out. That's what we want to wear. He's got an IBO world title. That's something that we would also like. Um, so, yeah, so so they, they seem very much interested. And we had a call a few weeks ago. Um, MTK got in touch, says, Matt Chum have been in touch and said, would you, you know, are, are you interested in fighting Devin Haney? And, Obviously, my ears lit up, my eyes and ears lit straight up. Says yes, get me in, get me in, and then um, you know, not not really heard out since then. But um, seeing that is he'd got a date in December, um, no opponent, so I were happy to step in. And then obviously now, since Ryan Garcia's pulled out, um, Jojo Diaz is without uh, an opponent, so obviously he wants to fight him. He is. You know, he's a bigger name, especially in America, former world champion, super featherweight. So he's gone with him. But like you say, the contract's not signed. We're not seeing no big announcement from Matt Truman to zone, which the show's going to be done by. So, you know, if that if that's not um, if that's not signed and sealed, I'm ready. I, I'm I'm sat here waiting, mm -hmm. um, and I'm training, and I'll be ready for that. And that's that's the fight that I want. Like tweeted Devin the other day. Um, he put, he put a tweet saying that um, looks like JoJo's trying to get out of the fight. So I says, yeah, I send, me, send me the contract because I'll sign it straight away. I'll send you my signature for if you get a contract and you've got my signature put straight on it because I don't care where it is. You know, as Club Lang said, I'll find anywhere, anytime, any place. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'll, I'll do that. Um, but he replied to me saying, uh, I'm plan D. And I thought, you know, he's he's calling out for opponents and everything. And then I, I've, as an opponent, I've thrown my name in saying, I'm eager to fight you, I yeah. want to fight you. And then he's he's giving, you know, he's trying to shrug me off, whether it's to try and act arrogant in front of all his thousands and thousands of followers that he's got, trying to make himself look good. But if the Diaz fight doesn't happen for him, I'm his only chance at getting a fight this year and keep him busy. Um, and I hope it does yeah, come on. You, sorry, sorry to cut you off there, Maxie. Do you feel like you need to stay? And you know, like Twitter and social media is a powerful tool now. I know you're not, you weren't the best at social media a year ago, but you seem to be getting yeah. better at it now. So, do you think that you need to be more yeah. active in terms of on, on, on social media to get these fights, to, to, to keep at it, to keep sort of like keep nibbling at Devin Haney and stuff like that? Yeah, I've, um, I think that's you know, that certainly helps in getting big fights nowadays, doesn't it? Um, you know, it were never really used for that in past, but it's certainly a tool that can help uh, secure these big fights now. So, you know, I've, I've got myself a blue tick on Twitter now, so I, I look like I know what I'm doing. I look important, don't I? So, um, and I think that's maybe why, because I have tweeted him in the past before uh, and, and never got anything. And I've got all my mates are always, every time he tweets, fight Max Hughes, fight Max Hughes, and mm. they'll never get any response. So yesterday it felt like a bit of a breakthrough with, we know we know he's ready and he's replied. So, you know, we're getting there. So I'll I'll keep at it. Um it. and hopefully that fight does come because I'll go over there and I'll teach that young man some manners, punch some manners into the young man. Because <laughs> he's only he's only twenty two, isn't he? So two years old, yeah. 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 So was obviously he's, he's done very well for himself, but I'm coming into my prime. I'm now a, a fully fledged mister. <laughs> Got the man strength. 
A young, a young 31, and a young 31. You were no mouse. You were no mouse. You, 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 you <laughs> could fight him anywhere, anytime, any place. Um, I'm guessing yeah. it's every fighter's dream. Every fighter's dream. Even my dream. I'm leaving a fighter to fight in Vegas one day. <laughs> um, I'm guessing yeah, that's, that, that's you'd fight him in Vegas. That that would be the sort of like the, the icing on the cake for this one. Absolutely, yeah. I had um, I had a goal and a bit of a dream to just box abroad, anywhere abroad. Yeah. And uh, I might kick that off last year by boxing in Dubai. Um, so really enjoyed that. And I thought, right, how can I top this? And obviously, you know, it's it's America. So that is my new goal and new dream. So, you know, and, and to say I can go and do it, you know, we're not... If the fight if the fight doesn't come off with, with Devin Haney... Um, no, I'm being I'm being considered for these fights now. These, you know, because people are still give you a bit of stick about the IBO. Oh, it's not a real world title, so they can't send out to me then if I go and win one of the the the, the main four belts. So I'm being considered for them now. So um, you know, what better place to to go and fight at the pinnacle of the sport in America? So nice. that's uh, that, that's the next goal. Yeah, that definitely. That, that, that's what I was going to say. You said the next goal. You said you wanted to fight abroad. You, you went to Dubai. You take that off. Do you set yourself little little goals each time? Do you say, right, I want to do this, and then you ne- you don't look too far in the future. You just set yourself a goal, yeah, yeah. It, and then yeah. set a new goal. You don't think, right, I want to be a WC world champion. I want to be undisputed. You don't think too far ahead. You just set yourself little little goals, get them, and then add another, add another. Is that, is that how you approach the game? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just in I'm in bonus territory now in in my career. You know, as I said earlier, all I wanted to do was win a British, um, and you were there that night. I won it. So everything that comes now is a bonus. So you know, I, I'm here and I'm in, I'm enjoying this position. So I think right, let's not get too far ahead. Set little set little goals which which are not not unachievable. You know, I've got the IBO world title. I've got a matchroom contract. So the bigger fights can be delivered for me. I've also got ranked across a couple of the other sanctioning bodies, I think. WBC, I'm with, I think, number 12 with IBF, possibly the WBA as well. So, you know, that, that's my goal now, is, is to go and add just, just one of them, you know, I don't need to say, right, I want all, all the belts, uh, everything, just, just go and add one. Go and add one of them, fight in America, that's not too far away. I've already been sort of considered for them types of fights. So, that's my that's my goal at the minute. Um, is is to just go and fight one of them belts and fight in America, and then go and collect that. I'm pretty sure if I get that Devin Haney fight, I'll go over there and I'll rip that belt straight off him. And then once I've got that, then then we'll reset. We'll sit down and say, right, what's what's the next goal? Do we do we want to have a a big defense show in the UK or do we want to well, back to America? Cool. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've heard. Well, he's been he's been calling our man Josh out, hasn't he? Mm. Um, saying he wants to move up to one forty and fight Josh, but also, obviously Josh has got his fight with yeah. Catchwell, and then he uh, and then Josh has uh, said he, he'd like to move up as well. Mm. You know, once, once I think I think that's the goal. Isn't it? Once you've cleared up a division, you've you've absolutely cleaned up the place. Yeah, the cool. only goal is to, to move up in it. So. We'll see. See what TFMO wants to do. I, I think he's he's got his hands full, to be honest, with Cambosos. Mm-hmm. I think Cambosos has got that bit between his teeth from being messed about for. It's been over a year since he last fought, and he's been med mandatory and all this stuff with Triller and everything. I think he's a bit riled, isn't he? So I think Lopez has really got his hands full with that fight. So you know, we could end up with a new champion and. Could be looking uh, good, good to go to Australia. That'd be a, that'd be a new goal. Oh, back yeah. to Australia. But have you got like, have you got a little notepad just writing all like bullet points? Go. Destinations. There you go. That's it. You got to envision it, and it all comes true. Maxi, uh, yes. obviously, it's a it's a Saturday morning. Um, I've got a PT coming in. I'm in the gym. I hope you're going to go in the gym because you're a professional athlete now. So I hope you're training today. Doing something. Yeah. Yeah. It's just what I do now. It's my job. There you go. See, that's the reaction. <laughs> if they, listen, but, but before I let you go, if Devin Haney was to see this fight, or maybe even Eddie Hearn or someday, man, what would you like to say to them? I'd say uh, Max Hughes is chomping at bit to fight Devin Haney. I really believe he, he's a man I can beat and I can take his belt off him. And I'd love to do it in America or if Devin wants to come to the UK and do it. But that, you know, when... He's the he's like when you say who do you want to fight? He's the number one man 
all I want to fight is, is Devin Haney. So, Eddie, Devin, I'm sat here and I'm chomping at a bit to come and fight you. Um, believe I'll do a job on you. So, um, you know, let, let's let's get that fight uh, made. Definitely. Maxi, thank you so much. Fingers crossed for you, man, because you deserve it. Because your last four fights in the last 12, 13 months have been absolutely extraordinary what you've done. So, you deserve it. And I'm glad I'm glad you're, you're in the position you are now. Uh, listen, your young daughter's there behind you. I can see he's probably wanting her daddy there. Yeah. Yeah, hey, listen, go and enjoy your Saturday yeah. morning and uh, hopefully there'll be big news for you soon and I'll catch up with you, man. Thanks, Thanks Maxie. Right, yeah. Cheers, Andy. Thank you, brother. Bye. Bye. Bye.